Both. So we work outside as well as inside because there's some muscles that we need to be able to touch and palpate, just like you know someone with a rotator cuff problem or some other type of you know, muscle issue. We do the same things that we do. It's just in this private area that a lot of people don't want to talk about. <laughs> So some of the some of the key muscles would be here's the external anal sphincter, and then the base of the urethra here, which is basically the bulbospongiosis muscle. And so there's the pudendal nerve has different branches. Some go to the rectum, some go to the center point, the perineum, and others go up towards the penis. So when someone is, let's say, having urinary leakage, let's say after like the prostate surgery or bladder surgery, we want them to learn how to be able to contract these muscles well, but also relax them well too. We can see what's happening here. We can see when they're contracting with their eyes. We can see the anus pull in. We can see the, the testicles sometimes lift up a little bit. And then the penis will will lift a little bit or, or pull into the body. Those are three things that we can look for with our eyes to see if they're contracting the muscle correctly. The other thing we can do is actually touch with our fingers and feel the muscle contract. And it's the same as you know, like having you can feel the muscle contraction. And then I will have the patient sometimes touch and feel the contraction as well. So they have an awareness of what's happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. Also, to help with that, in in one of the rooms over here, we have a camera mm -hmm. with a monitor on the wall where we can have the camera actually be viewing the pelvic area here, and then the patient can see it, so they can see themselves contract and relax, and it's a good way of helping them to gain awareness. Yep. And two, for that's the external palpation. So mm -hmm. outside. Sorry. And then inside, so here's the same thing, right? This would be the penis here. Penis. So for inside is that we would kind of put our fingers inside here. And then once they understand how to use this muscle correctly, then we train them on a, a progressive exercise program uh, to get stronger. When patients have the other issue, which is more of the, the, the need to relax better, there might be muscles here which are very tense, in which case we're going to have to stretch. So it's just we can go in and we can stretch the muscle. But they also need to know how to contract because the other part of that is the relax. And they need to become aware of this muscle so that they can start paying attention. So if they're gripping too much during their day, if they can keep it down, a lower level of activity. So if that's, that's something they have to pay attention to. So the patients who have had surgery, prostate removal, bladder removal, they come from the urology department most of the time. And we might see them anywhere from, let's say, three weeks or so after surgery, but sometimes patients will come six months after surgery, or even later, if they're still having leakage problems. For the patients who have more of the, let's say, the pain, when they're too tight, those patients can come from physicians. They have to come from a physician with a referral in California. But a lot of times those patients are looking on their own. They're on the internet. They're seeking out on their own who to see because that's a condition that sometimes physicians oftentimes don't relate to muscle problems. But some physicians know how to differentially diagnose well and then they, they will send them directly. That's good. It's a more complicated condition, therefore it's sometimes challenging. Mm -hmm.